Don't do this at home. Muat. My Uzi weighs a ton. That's what we're smoking tonight. Another one from Drew Estate. This one a collaboration with Joya de Nicaragua. We'll see how it goes. I have done a review on the uh, Kentucky Fire Cure uh, Muat. This one is uh, just the basic, I guess. Let's talk about it. We've got a San Andreas Maduro wrapper, a Connecticut Capote binder, and Nicaraguan and Brazilian fillers. That should be interesting. Delicious looking cigar. Very neat. Uh, looks to be a single cap, possibly a double. Hard to tell. Very well laid. Seams are nice and tight. A couple of beautiful veins in this thing. Great coloration. And a big silver and black label. My first impression of the aroma on this is kind of a kind of almost a sour and tangy hay, but uh, after that it kind of sweetens up a little bit. Kind of a complex aroma. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing cut. Kind of tangy on the pre-light draw too. <clears throat> Touch of the powerful side. Hmm. Alright, let's get lit. Beautiful smoke coming off this thing. Lots of it too. Medium to full body. Decently long finish. Beautiful draw. Just about perfect. It's a little on the nutty side. Kind of sweet. And it's still kind of tangy. It's kind of chocolatey too. Hmm. I might be off my rocker. It seems to be lots of flavor in this thing. All right, I'm gonna smoke it down and see if I can't come up with some more exact description for you. Quite a bit of smoke. I'll just say that. Well, what it is with Drew Estate, they just have a smoke case of cigars, it seems. So perfect draw. Not a bad burn either. <clears throat> Layers of flavor that I still haven't even begun to dissect. But I can tell you this, <clears throat> I was right about the chocolate. It's still there. It's got a nice long finish. It's kind of a sweet, tangy flavor that just kind of lays on your tongue. It stays there. It doesn't seem to go away. Um, there might be a still just a hint of kind of a nut flavor in there, probably an almond. I think that's all I got. There's a couple different nuances in there, and I just not sure. It's very complex. I like it. Here it goes. Good. On the draw, it is nuts and earth. And on the finish, it is kind of a tangy, sweet hay flavor. <clears throat> With just a hint of that chocolate left in it. Well, the chocolate's more on the draw, I will say that. Like I said, pretty complex. I've reached the halfway point, maybe a touch past. About 30, 40 minutes so far. I will check in one more time before I put it down. Time to put this one down. I don't typically smoke a cigar down quite this far because they usually heat up and you get this real hot smoke going much before this. But this one stayed calm, cool, and collected up until right here. Pretty impressive. 
with a stick. Let's talk about it. First third. Chocolate, cocoa, sweetness, tangy, all different kinds of stuff. Second third, kind of stayed along those same lines. Very earthy and nutty on the draw. That same kind of tangy sweetness along the finish, which is extremely long. And the final third, heavy on the earth. And uh, a lot of those same flavors but with the addition of some leather. <clears throat> Very welcome addition to those other flavors that were there. And I started off uh, just drinking water with this thing as usual <clears throat> to try and just kind of get the unbiased flavors of the cigar, but <clears throat> about midpoint I switched it up for some, uh, some nice dark rum. And I was kind of surprised to find that brought out kind of cherry flavor there in that last third. So uh, if you happen to smoke one of these things, I do suggest some nice dark rum with that and it uh, kind of brings out even more flavor which is amazing because it's a very flavorful cigar. Medium to full body, no strength whatsoever, nothing. And uh, <clears throat> kind of nice chewy smoke. That good medium to full body and full flavor, absolutely. Tons of flavor in that thing. I think that's about it. Very happy with the Muat from the subculture brand of Drew Estate. And uh, yeah. What a great stick. Highly recommend that thing. Go check that thing out. Happy smoking, guys.